Today we are looking at Sparkster for the Super Nintendo. Sparkster was released by Konami in 1994 on the Super Nintendo. He's back, and he's won a pumped up opossum. Sparkster is jet packing into action as the toughest rocket knight to ever swing a sword. Grab the controls and blast through eight wild stages in your quest to rid the world of the evil King Gettle and his allies, a pack of lizards that are tougher than a suitcase. And before you get too comfortable, Axel Gear is here. This Rocket Knight gone bad has a score to settle with Sparkster. Our hero will need his revved up new rocket pack and powerful new attack moves to kick Axel's tail back to the dark side of the planet. Remember, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as it helps out this channel grow, and don't forget to hit the notification button for all future videos. So how is Sparkster today? Here is our review of Sparkster for the Super Nintendo. The army of wolf and yellow dog warriors led by the lioness, who also kidnapped Princess Flora is attacking the kingdom of Eginasum. In order to defeat this danger and rescue the princess, and to prevent his kingdom's impending annihilation, Sparkster the Rocket Knight is on the prowl. The enemy Rocket Knight Axel Gear, who is Sparkster's archenemy, is assisting the invading army making his mission extra harder. To beat Axel Gear and gain access to the enemy's battleship, where Generalissimo Lioness, the leader of the Yellow Dogs, intends to fire a nuke to destroy the planet Eginasum. The player must fight through all of the enemy warriors and robots. Sparkster is the primary character who battles robot armies of yellow wolves. He is equipped with a rocket pack that enables him to fly short distances and a sword that can fire energy bolts. The addition of a short distance rolling dash is the most notable alteration from the Genesis gameplay which mostly remains the same. Sparkster fights a boss at the conclusion of each level, and the level is finished when the boss is eliminated. On the third stage, an auto-scrolling level features Sparkster riding a robot ostrich, while the seventh stage is a top-down shooting level. The fact that the game's final level is determined by the player's choice of difficulty is one significant difference. Axel Gear is the final boss on the game's simple difficulty setting, however in the standard difficulty setting, Sparkster faces the wolf's commander instead. Beyond that, on hard mode, is the actual final stage of the game. Just like the Genesis, the controls is simple to grasp. To jump, press the B button. You can utilize your sword, which also generates shockwaves, by pressing X, holding X activates your rocket pack, which launches you in any direction and charges up much more quickly this time. The L and R buttons can also be used to perform a new devastating air dashing maneuver, which is also incredibly helpful. The controls is occasionally a little slick, but it's never irritating and it's still simple to use. It also opens up a wide range of strategies for taking out foes and bosses. Sparkster features a lot of amazing effects, deadly bosses, and tons of explosions, just like the original game. These are considerably better on the Super NES. Some of the bosses are enormous and almost beyond description such as a mechanical caterpillar that chases you non-stop or a big mechanical knight that shoots laser beams from its eyes. The game stages include an enemy airship, a steelworks plant, a submarine, a classic desert level, a music land, a space gun sequence, and an exhilarating flight through the mountains on a mechanical bird. The Super NES versions of the effects, especially those from the bosses, seem about as amazing as they did in the Genesis games. The sole drawback is that, due to the Super Nintendo's slower processing speed than the Genesis, there might occasionally be a significant amount of slowdown. But the animation is superb, and Sparks turn the other supporting characters and foes comes through flawlessly. The soundtrack, which is almost CD quality, is likewise unbelievably cool. Whereas the original game's soundtrack was adorable and heroic, Sparkster's is faster-paced, moodier, more action-oriented, sounding more like a Super NES shooter. Its music perfectly complements each stage and manages to get your heart rate up. The Super NES's capabilities are also fully utilized by the slick soundtrack and sound effects. 
Sparkster eventually begs to be heard through your speakers because of the improved sound chip. In fact it has some of the greatest and most lifelike audio I've ever heard in a video game, even on par with some current games. The sound effects in this game are some of the coolest I've ever heard in a video game, especially the sound that occurs when your sword strikes an enemy. Challenge is the only thing that Sparkster lacks, unlike the difficult Genesis versions. Sparkster can be quite simple to defeat and is also a little bit on the short side, averaging 7 stages on easy and 8 stages on difficult mode. And if you want to see the true ending, you'll have to complete the game on hard mode. Although Sparkster is perhaps one of the simpler Rocket Knight games ever created, it's still a lot of fun to play. Ultimately, if you enjoyed the first Rocket Knight Adventures game you have to play Sparkster, in fact playing the original is not necessary to enjoy this. One of the best action games on the Super NES is Sparkster, a pretty incredible game. Sparkster is still a thrilling ride even though it lacks a challenge. So, Sparkster for the Super Nintendo is getting a 8.5 out of 10. What did you think about Sparkster for the Super Nintendo? Please leave comments below to share your thoughts. That will do it for this episode. We do live streams throughout the week, mostly games from the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch, and we also do retro games throughout the week as well. And remember, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up for support. Thank you for watching, and I will see you here on the next episode, have a great day.